we must give up the vain idea that we can please everybody. It is impossible, and it is a waste of time. We must be content to follow in Christ's steps and let the world say what it's going to say. These words were spoken by R.C. Ryle, an Anglican bishop. And you know something? These words, they could be no more true today than they were in his day. We live in a world where we're always concerned about what everyone thinks about us, and for many different reasons. We may want to impress our bosses so that we can get a promotion at our job. We may want to please a certain group of young ladies so that way we may be able to find a suitable mate. And we may want to try and meet the demands of a political party so that we can secure a nomination and get elected into any public office. There is nothing that is more harmful to the soul, and not to mention the human psyche, than trying to please everybody. You're just stressing yourself out, and you're wasting all your energy. That energy should be focused on seeking first the kingdom of heaven. Remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, how he said, Your heavenly Father knows that you have need of these things before you ask him. You know, the usual common things like food and clothes and water and shelter. You know, all the things that you're always worried and concerned about in life. God knows that you need these things. But as Jesus said, you need to search for the kingdom of heaven first and all these things will be added to you. There is nothing, there is no need that is more important than your relationship with God through Jesus Christ our Savior. This has been a message from the Anglican Church in North America. And I'm Bishop Floyd Hamler, a proud member of the church. Thank you all for watching. And as Dr. Charles Stanley says, obey God and leave all the consequences to him. I couldn't have said it better myself. Then why didn't you?